Hi, and welcome down to Devon Koi Pond on a really nice morning. And hopefully we get a few of these through the winter. But uh, we're down here doing a winter video and uh, as you can see, pond's covered over. I've got a cover drawn back at the moment. I've just put a bit of food in. Fish are all fine. I'll show you the water temperature in a bit. Sun's been out intermittently, so I've gained some heat under the covers. Um, I'll show you the pond temperature. This will uh, probably be the uh, last video uh, for two or three weeks. I'm uh, not going to do one every week if I've got uh, nothing to film. But hope you've all got your ponds covered and your heaters on if you've got them. Always interested to know what people are paying for their heating on their ponds. So uh, if you want to pop something down in the comments, please do. How much it costs you to heat your pond roughly each week for a winter? I'll be really interested in that. I uh, just rely on ground source heat. Uh, the footings of my pond are about five and a half, six foot deep. So down at that uh, depth in the ground, the uh, temperature is usually eight, nine degrees through most of the winter. So the pond water really shouldn't drop down below that unless you get a really cold spell. But if you can keep the covers on and the wind off the top, it uh, should remain somewhere around ground temperature. So let's have a quick look at the fish a minute. I'll show you the last few things I've been doing on the winter prep. See the fish are still fairly active. I've uh, keep an eye on them, pull the covers back uh, once or twice a week. Have a look. I usually just gotta leave a slot up this end about four inches uh, to give them a feed. But, uh, they all seem very merry. I've uh, switched the uh, vortex over. It's just a center pipe now. So I'm on the center pipe here. There's no point running the answer through the winter. Got that one here, that's my little job in a minute. Strip the pump off that, clean the impeller. I've been through all the other pumps back before the weather really started to collapse. Taking them apart, give them a look over the impellers, bit of a clean, and put them back together again. They're all ready to see me through the winter. Same with the air pumps. Lids on the veg, you saw that the other day. And uh, we've got a pond temperature. Been averaging down here over 13 degrees for the last couple of weeks. Uh, this morning, 23, 24 under the covers and 13.4 in the pond. So I'm still doing a lot better than a lot of people up country. Hope your ponds are doing as well and you got your covers over. The fish are uh, on the wheat germ food now, which is what they'll be eating uh, through the winter. They're still fairly active, so I'm still pouring in over 100 grams of wheat germ a day now while they're eating it. But as it gets down to around 10 or just below, I'll cut down on that. They'll lose interest uh, under 10 degrees. They will take it, and if they will, then give them a bit. But uh, there's no need to feed through the winter. If uh, your pond's running uh, on the winter temperatures, uh, they won't want it. <coughs> yeah, so from down here in Devon, for this year, 2020, uh, that's about it with the videos. There will be two or three more I expect up to Christmas, but I'm not going to do one every week. Um, it's just nothing to film, so no interest. If I'm making something, I will be making some bits and bobs after Christmas. I'll uh, pop a few videos on of that. I'll do a couple of videos a, a month, maybe or one a month. Um, if something happens, but everything's fine here now. Just got to tick them over through the winter. Hopefully they all uh, survive nicely. At the moment, the few fish with carp pox, it uh, hasn't started to bite back on them yet, but no doubt it will. As uh, we all know, the carp pox, as soon as the temperatures start to go down, that reappears. Popeye's looking good still. In fact, all the fish are looking very good. They've all put on uh, a good bit of size this year and eaten a good bit of food. So, I'll be sorry to have the covers over so much damn shame. I'm sure some of the other guys are going to keep their uh, channels running with a bit more footage through the uh, winter than I can uh, manage to put out. I expect James will have some nice stuff out. Make sure you get on over to his channel. He'll have be making some stuff through the winter. Always worth seeing what he's up to. But uh, I'll be going a little bit quiet for a little while. But if you still want to subscribe in, I'll be back in the spring for sure. But for now, down here in Devon, this is me signing out probably for a week or two. I'll catch up uh, with you as soon as I've got something else worth videoing. So from down here in sunny Devon today,
Bye for now and happy ponding through the winter people. Catch you soon.